So apparently, I'm going cliff jumping. They say I have to say goodbye from the air. Hello everyone, Dan Hurd with Dan Hurd Prospecting. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn a subscription today. I'm here with... Evan with Exploring with Evan. And of course, Dana and Alex are sitting over there somewhere. We are here at Bromley Rock Provincial Park. A beautiful, you're not quite it, there we go. We are here at Bromley Rock Provincial Park. We are treasure hunting today. Three different ways of treasure hunting. We are gonna be doing some metal detecting on this beach behind me. We plan to do some magnet fishing in the deep hole where they do, where they jump off the cliff. And just downstream from here, I have a placer claim. We're gonna go down to that placer claim and do some panning. I don't know if they'll all make it onto one video or if I'll do three or what, but that is the plan for the day. Hope it all works out. Hope you enjoy. I love the treasure hunt. Good signal. 66. I've got it. I see it. A pencil sharpener. Alrighty, let's keep going. Now today I will be using the Garrett 18 Gold and my new sand scoop for detecting this beach. This is a very fine sand beach. The sand scoop works really well for sifting things out. Really easy here. Now I have detected here before and there were lots of signals before, but I've never detected this sort of bottom half of the beach. So that's where I'm going to go today and see what kind of signals I find. Let's do it. tabs usually come in at uh, 52. Different number on this one. And of course, filling in my holes as I go. Always. So I do have my video glasses on today so I can show finds and I've been going for a while. There are a lot of bottle caps on this beach. I just pulled two out in that one scoop full. So yeah, they're everywhere. Lots of people ask me about my video glasses. There is a link in the description of all my videos to all the equipment I use. Metal detectors, scoops, and yes, cameras and video glasses are in there as well. Check her out. A filler for like a beach ball or something like that. Well, oh, more garbage off the beach. Oh. 
right there is getting a real nice signal and it was look at that two coins in one scoop a loony and a quarter nice first coins of the day someone's hair nice put those in my pocket and see if there's any more around No other signals right there. Ooh, there it is. Hey, it's a silver plated earring. Silver plated, you can tell because of the rust that's coming through on certain spots, but it's definitely silver. Silver plated earring. Very nice. Now, for those people that think that this is a waste of time because you don't make enough money to make it pay off, I'm not doing this for the money. Sure, getting some coins and stuff is exciting because it's like getting free money, but I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the fun, doing it for a reason to get out here, doing it for spending time with my family. I'm not doing it for making the money. And finding a few coins definitely does not make you very much money. Though, if you ever did find gold rings or gold jewelry, that's where the money's at. But that doesn't happen all that often. This is just fun. It's a hobby. And Evan loves doing this with me. So that's really why I do it. Okay, this is a good signal. 70s, 80s. See what this is. Oh, I see it. Another bottle cap. Sounded like something better than that. Now, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm sure happy to get it off the beach. It is razor sharp. It is crazy how sharp that is. Cut my fingers just getting it out of my scoop. One thing I'm very happy to do is, when I'm metal detecting, take all of the garbage I find, especially the dangerous stuff like screws and that, and get it off the beach so the kids that are enjoying the beach right now don't cut up their feet walking over things like that. So this isn't a very good signal, 30s, 20s, but I am digging everything today because it is so easy to dig with a sand scoop and it just takes seconds to get every signal. That, just another piece of, oops, and that is just another piece of garbage we're getting off the beach. As I get closer to the water's edge here, I have to keep re-ground balancing. This sand is loaded in magnetite. Huge amounts of black sand in this sand. So I have to keep adjusting for the amounts. You can tell when the detector starts getting out of balance because I start getting little blips and sounds all over the place. And I have to re-ground balance it and it stabilizes it more. There's Dana filming me right now. And my red-headed son trying to get a sunburn. Another good signal right here. Let's hope for more of the bottle lid this time. I've got it in my scoop. Oh. The bottle lids are giving me very good signals today. Usually I can tell those. <laughs> so 
So I saw a glimpse of it as it went in. Yeah, I think it's already fallen down to the back, but let's have a look. Hey, it's a quarter. A quarter in the scoop. Nice and shiny, this hasn't been here very long. Looks like another earring. Big one. Big hoop. It's black chrome. Black chrome earring. Nice condition. Another thing for a jewelry collection. Hey, our first gold of the day. Nice. Well, it's definitely gold plated. That's not real gold. Don't think. Yeah, it's gold plated. But hey, a gold plated earring. Hey, three earrings today. Very cool. I like finding gold. Whether it be plaster gold, you know, hard rock gold, metal detecting gold, plated gold, anything gold. I like gold. So let's have a look at what we found today. Looks like we found about 10 or 12 bottle caps, six pull tabs, a pencil sharpener. Uh, how much change? Let's see, four, five, five to six dollars in change. Nothing, nothing exciting in there, just modern change. Uh, we found lots of tin foil, a few bobby pins, this really sharp, jagged piece of metal, glad to get that off the beach. Ah, oh, springs and bullet shells and fishing weights and nuts and bolts and screws, all sorts of random things. And three earrings today. It was an earring day. One silver plated, one gold plated, and one black chrome. Very cool. As well as three pop can or beer cans buried in the sand and one Evan. I knew you were going to say that. You having fun at Bromley Rock, Alex? Yeah. Dean? Everyone else is out there having fun. It's not the sunniest day here, but it's still really nice to be here. I'm going to do the metal detecting separate from the magnet fishing. So. That's where I'm signing this one off. Thanks for watching everyone. Special thanks to my patrons. You guys are awesome. Because of your support, I can do this prospecting, metal detecting, magnet fishing, treasure hunting. I love treasure hunting. Thank you so much. Please, if you enjoy this stuff, please subscribe. Hit the like button, leave me a comment. I really hope you enjoyed. Until the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs> you gotta jump off the cliff and say bye. I have to jump off the cliff and say bye? With my camera.
This is not waterproof. Oh, don't um, grab the waterproof. Not, I have the waterproof one. Um, and then you drop the camera while falling. I may have to say bye, jumping off the cliff. So apparently, I'm going cliff dive, I'm jumping. They say I have to say goodbye from the air. Right, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, damn this water's cold. And here's the view from the top of the rock. Bromley Rock. Oh, this Wanna wave? There you go, you're on camera. You okay on being on YouTube? Yes. Excellent. Wait, you're a YouTuber? I am a YouTuber, yes. What's your YouTube name? Dan Hurd. Dan Hurd Prospecting. Me too. Uh. You wanna be on YouTube too? There's Dana, ready to film me. Okay, apparently I have to sign off my video from the air, jumping off the cliff. So everyone, until the next one. Bye! Bye!